and we are live July 26, 2022, 9.22 a.m. at Ottawa U University. This won't be a very long total walk around the university, just a little short little tour. And we're going to start from this nice little sculpture here. Okay. We're going to go just around this section here. It's a short little walk. This is the uh, Morissette Library of Ottawa University, where students can gather the books and study and read various topics they wish to. And further up ahead is Laurie Avenue. The main road where buses go and traffic goes to um, uh, left to City Hall and right down Charlotte Avenue. Here is a local little uh, stand to gather some hot dogs and food and so forth. We're not going to go up to Laurier. I'm just going to stick around down here. That's the Morissette Library still. Pretty big. This is Perez Hall. To the left there is a little uh, lounge bar where students can chill after their studies and have a nice drink or a meal or coffee even, <laughs> which is pretty cool. It was very, very popular back in the day. It's probably popular again. <laughs> Further up that way is more set chuck and so forth. And here is the map of the North Campus. It is a big, it is quite a big area. They have lots of residences. There was actually a, uh, what used to be a hotel on Rito Street, which now houses students there, which is a good idea. There is the cafe and lounge again. Thompson, Health Sciences area. There's also a uh, legal, a place we can get some legal help. There's a residence there for students as well, residents over there, among many of them around the area. Thank you, thank you. For pushing the like. Mm -hmm. 
and this white house over here is where you can get legal help for tenant matters, civil matters, and some criminal matters too. This house right here, you make an appointment, and you don't necessarily, necessarily have to be a student to get legal help here. So it's for students and people outside the university as well who might need some legal help in various, uh, various topics. When it's going back down into the heart of the university, away from Laurie Avenue. And it looks like, sounds like my BF is calling me. I'll call him back. It's going to be a short little, short little walk. Just hang on. Sure, I'm doing a live stream right now. I'll call you back in a bit. I'm just going to head up to um, the bus area. Hey. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I was just doing, I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> Moving on. I'm not sure if you heard me. <laughs> okay. We're gonna head up to the free clothing place. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard me answer and talk to him, but I'm not sure. I'll talk to him in a second, if he's after the stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, he didn't. He didn't actually get it. I'll talk to him in a bit. Okay, let's pick up the pace here. Oh, this gimbal keeps going up for some reason. He did have some damage from the snow in the winter, so it has a mind of its own a bit. This is the free clothing place. You can get free clothes here. You don't have to be a student. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. as well. 3 p.m. as well. All these are free things, items you can get. It's very nice. The free store. get all kinds of things in here there are many boots and some all kinds of things purses and so forth you can get free I see a red bag that I'm very interested in if it's still there when I get back I'm gonna grab it <laughs> some books all kinds of free things in there and <laughs> We're going to go up, <laughs> you found me. <laughs> We're going to go up to that little bus area and then we'll end the stream there. <laughs> I'm showing my fans about the free clothes place in the university area here. Yeah, it's awesome. Might as well. Why not? And we we'll go back with the buses area and we'll stop there. Cool. People are happy to see me again. <laughs> okay. We're going to go. There's a library again. Well, that's, that's deliveries. And we're going to go up to where the buses, the old train is. And we'll stop oh, the stream from there. The train today. Eh? Yeah. I heard you mm -hmm. say old train. Yeah. yeah. The trains are not running. Today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to end the stream there. We're just doing a live stream. Thank you. Okay. Yep. I was just informed that the trains are not running today. One of the lines was struck by lightning, apparently. So the R run bus is running, but no trains. I think this day two or three when that happens is the storm where it got hit by lightning or something. I'm not sure what happened. And the R run bus goes all over creation. It takes forever to get from point A to point B compared to the train. That is a bit of a pain in the butt. Camp Gigi's. And it's good to walk nice and slow. And you know it's going to be there, right? <laughs> so I think I know who is going to be streaming. <laughs> and we're going to go around here.
over to a nice little spot before the old train starts. There's a lot to cover not only you, a lot of residences they have all over the place, which is good for them. Actually, I think I have more residents than Algonquin College, I think. Algonquin College in uh, Baseline Road in Nepean is quite, quite large. But I don't know how much of a span their residents are compared to Ottawa U. Ottawa U has tons of residences everywhere compared to, uh, compared to Algonquin College, which is interesting. But it's a beautiful day. It's a nice impressive building there for your building lovers out there. And we're going to a nice little section where some events happen sometimes during the summer. Right now, not much is going on there. It's all empty now. You can sit there and get a suntan because there's no shade there. <laughs> There's some more spots in the shade where you can have a coffee or read your book for students to study and so forth, have their lunch, so forth and so forth for anybody. For solitude, one solitude is the spot to be right now. <laughs> There's a place to park your bikes for, for the students. And we're coming close to the Vania building. More places to park your bike. I don't think there's any cameras here to guard them. I'm sorry, I don't see any cameras here to make sure your bikes are safe here. And over there, I'm not sure there's any cameras there either. There should be cameras to guard the bikes, actually, to be honest. Bike thieves are rampant in the market right now. And eventually the bike thieves will come here and start taking bikes from here, unfortunately, I, I think. Because I see no cameras or anything around there. Watch the bikes. There should be cameras there. And we're coming close to that's the Vanier Hall. Another section of Ottawa U. More places to park your bike and for students to sit and relax and study, have the lunch and so forth. And right ahead there is the old train station, which unfortunately trains not running in auto right now. They've been struck one of the lines and I don't know how long they're going to be out. Who knows? Going OC Transpo and the old train, it might be up to a week before we get buses. But I hope not. That tunnel leads down as a bike path, which leads to the canal as well. So I hope you enjoyed this nice little short tour of Ottawa U. There's the U Ottawa station, but no trains running today. So everybody have a great day. Take care this Monday and stay safe. Talk to you guys later. Voila. <laughs> Yep, yep. It's always good to um, uh, always do a stream. Keep up with the fans. <laughs> Haven't done that for a while, and they're happy. Mm -hmm. Turn off.